story and brief of Look Back in Anger by John Osborne. Written by Ohida Chad. Jimmy Porter, wife Allison, his friend Cliff Lewis, her friend Helena. Four but Jimmy the most dominating character. Jimmy. All the most important speeches with intellect. Most important psychologically from the intellectual angle. A complex personality others comparatively simple. Angry young man keenly dissatisfied with life in general unable to reconcile himself to the environment and the people around him. Raging against things all through denouncing people and giving expression to his disgruntlement and bitterness in endless rhetoric. Allison. Also important psychologically representing a woman suffering passively. After a brief self-assertion, ultimately adopts an attitude of submission to her domineering husband, informal hubby. Cliff slash Helena stand on the fringes outer or less important part of an area, group or activity of the action. The play takes place in a flat in a town in the English Midlands. Occupants Jimmy slash Allison slash Cliff, Welshman. Jimmy slash Cliff from working class. Allison upper middle class. Social disparity one rear sofa dissatisfaction. Jimmy. Cannot reconcile to the upper class. I social rebel criticizing wife and her family constantly. Three same age about 25 years. Jimmy. Well educated, graduated from a university. Tried many ways. Earning livelihood by running a sweet stall assisted by Cliff. Another reason society did not treat properly. Found no suitable career and feels unwanted by society. Regarded as a maladjusted person both at home and outside. Play opens on a Sunday evening. Jimmy slash Cliff reading papers. Jimmy making a lot of fuss. Only interested in two posh papers. Regards Cliff ignorant snubs at the slightest excuse. Scolds Alice and for ceaseless ironing of clothes. Loses temper about the church bells. Bad word about Miss Drury, landlady. Dissatisfied with the routine life. Refers Alice and Cliff as devoid of any enthusiasm. Hates Sundays always so depressing. Jimmy's comments mostly witty, though sarcastic and bitter. Wife slash brother Nigel sycophantic, phlegmatic and pusillanimous. Criticizes her further very happy imperialist in India now lost advantages and benefits. Criticizes her mother for upper class and obsession to marriage. Alison sensitive kind of woman pregnant but not yet disclosed. Cliff wants her to tell Jimmy. Really in love and a tender scene bears and squirrels game a really marvelous bear. Before disclosing pregnancy Cliff came in. Telephone call Helen to actress coming for a theatrical engagement. Jimmy reacts natural enemies. Act I closes most offensive speech something should happen to wake her out of her beauty sleep. Jimmy wishes a child is born and dies he will be happy. Passion of a python devours every time while making love. Act 2 scene I. Two weeks pass. Helena staying with the porters helping Allison with household duties. Late afternoon of a hot day. Intimate conversation between Helena and Allison. Her parents supposed but she disregarded. For several months a very poor life even without accommodation. Living with Hugh Tanner, Jimmy's friend, most ill-mannered, she disliked. Tanner went abroad Jimmy started a sweet stall by Tanner's mother fond of each other. Jimmy not yet told of pregnancy. Often play the bears and squirrels gave. Jimmy's trumpeting irritates them. Jimmy slash Cliff joined them. Jimmy annoyed Allison slash Helena going to church. Many mocking, disparaging comments on Allison slash mother slash Helena. Helena says he deserves to be slapped. Jimmy will also slap in return. Jimmy gave Helena an account of father's death while just a boy. No effect on others. She sends telegram, later informs Allison and obtains her consent to leave him with her father. Telephonic message Dana admitted to London Hospital. Allison refuses to go. Scene 2. Colonel Redfern not happy with her leaving. He slash wife should not have opposed marriage. Justifies Jimmy's description just one of those sturdy old plants left over from the Edwardian wilderness that cannot understand why the sun is not shining anymore. High position of authority in India till 1947 lost and feels absolutely unimportant and unwanted. Commander of a Maharaja's army in Indian state. Helena changes her mind, leaving tomorrow for Birmingham for job. Leaves a note to Cliff for Jimmy. Cliff upset nothing to do. Jimmy returns in a furious mood. Mrs. Danares sighed for eleven hours and then died. Jimmy reads out Alison's note desperately in need of peace a deep, loving need of Jimmy. 
Wife's pregnancy informed. No reaction no care. Feels sorry no flowers at her on coffin. Seizes her by shoulder and to get out. She slaps his face savagely suddenly kisses passionately. Act 3 scene I. Several months pass. Again a Sunday evening. Personal belongings replaced by Helena. At his mistress perfect understanding. Accustomed even to his smoking pipe Cliff still hates. Jimmy still finds faults with people, things. Papers criticized as before. Criticizes sacrifices to please gods. A contempt for religious observances. Helena not relishes his talk about religion, politics. Cliff to leave sweet stall to live separately to settle down after marriage. Jimmy to Helena Cliff a loyal, generous, and good friend. Tirades relate to the absence of any good, brave causes in the present day world mostly ended in 30s slash 40s. Women try to bleed men to death. No alternative but to allow women to exploit slash persecute slash butcher. Closes with an exchange of tender, loving expressed between Jimmy, Helena. Appreciates Helena's initiative in showing affection. Tells her love. Jimmy kisses. She presses his head against her body. Will close store start a new life. Opens and Allison enters. Most unexpected both stunned by this unexpected development. Scene 2. Jimmy goes out without talking. Sorry for interruption. No business. Helena says still Jimmy's wife. Allison no longer believes in marriage's sanctity. If a woman tries to dominate slash bully sure to be discarded. Helena discovered Jimmy's fault. Jimmy born out of his time. No place for people in sex slash politics slash else. Allison must have a miscarriage. Sad happening as a divine judgment Allison denied. Allison then urges not to leave as he needs. But Helena decided. Helena calls Jimmy while trumpeting. He observes pale slash sick for miscarriage though no sign of grief. Helena to Jimmy wants to leave not be happy as wrongdoing and hurting another. Jimmy everybody wants to escape from the pain of being alive also from love which demands strength, courage. Either a full-blooded life of senses or lead a purely spiritual life. A train for London. Jimmy very upset. Alison to leave too. Jimmy talks complaints flowers not sent to Mrs. Tanner's funeral. Jimmy says tremendous energy of mind slash spirit still lonely. Alison seemed to be with a wonderful relaxation of spirit. But after marriage no relaxation of spirit. Requires to be very strong. To suffer to achieve the strength to relax. Eyes in Alison S wrong in her attitude. Wrong to have adopted a neutral attitude towards life. Wrong to seek the life of a saint. Wants to be a lost cause like him and wants to be corrupt and futile. Now he should have the satisfaction of miscarriage completely. Don't you see? I am in the mud at last. I am groveling. I am crawling. Collapses at Jimmy's feet. A poor squirrel and then a poor bear. Reconciliation on a happy note. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.